Thursday, everybody. It's uh, nope, September 24th, and it's not October yet. <laughs> and it's officially fall, right? It is officially fall. That was on Tuesday. Yes, Tuesday. Uh, it was on Tuesday. I saw a lot of posts on it, but I was like, oh, it's true. So we are going to do quick little introductions, as always. I am Casey. I'm the events and social media manager here at Lovely Fireside. I'm Cassie. I am the operations manager, kind of part of the family that runs Fireside. And today we are doing chips and wine pairing, which is super exciting. I am just going to tell you I didn't know what to do for this Thursday, so I was wandering around aimlessly at the winery trying to find inspiration, and I saw bags of chips, and I'm like, I want to eat chips. So that's what we're doing today. And I actually have a couple of people who emailed me. And they're like, what are you going to pair with what so they can follow along? Ooh. So if you guys are following along, let us know in the comments. There's a couple of people watching, but I don't know. That's all right. Let us know what you think. We are going to start off with our lightest wine and then go to our most, I don't want to say heavy, but most More flavorful flavor. yeah. Yeah. wine. And I guess you could do it the other way too and start with your lightest chip. But we're going to go this way. Do it wherever you want to do it at home. Exactly. And if you have your favorite wine and chip pairings, let us know. Or if you've never done that before, as I have been done that before. But who but hasn't had wine and had the munchies at like, I don't know what time? Later, in the, in, the later in the day. <laughs> I actually had the day off and Casey was like, um, I'm going to do a chips and wine pairing. And I was like, I'll be there. So. Ways to get the boss involved. <laughs> so to start oh, off, we are going to do the Lay's sour cream and onion chips. You can get any sour cream and onion chips out there, doesn't matter. But this is also kind of just the classic potato chip pairing that I found, was you do any of these with the sparkling wine. So I did it with our sparkling 2016 Brianna, which is my favorite. So we're gonna eat it over here on the side. But how do we try food? And wine, you always go wine first, then chip, and then wine after. So wine, food, wine. And, or maybe just wine, wine, chip, wine. Whatever your ratio, but start with right. wine. Start with wine, end with wine. This is a lovely wine. I love that one. And we don't have. And the chip, it just works so well. Because the sour cream and onion, has quite a bit of flavor going on in it. And it packs a layering across your mouth, which then the bubbles kind of just counteract that like you would with a brie. The bubbles kind of like come along your palate and just kind of like bring up all those flavors. They like kind of dust them up in your mouth. They do. That's a weird description, but. I like it though. <laughs> That's a fun description. I, I like it, of course I like those chips. So. Right? No, this is probably my favorite kind of chip. Nope, kidding. The next one's my favorite kind of chip. But this one, and plus the 2016 Brianna has a little bit more deep flavors to it, which accent. That's a lot. Yeah, that's a really good one to give a shot. So guys, I actually have my phone up and I'm actually like paying attention. So if you want so you to write a comment and say hi or anything else, or ask questions about what we're doing this weekend. Yes, yes that would be a great Not question. Not personally, ask. what we're doing at the winery, because <laughs> we're going to be at the winery. Yeah, I got no plans. No plans. We have winery plans. So we can start talking about that, I guess, yes. as we can move on to the next one. But the next that. one is my favorite pairing because it's my favorite kind of chip. Second favorite kind of chip, we don't have salt and vinegar chips here. I almost thought about bringing oh them Oh my god, they're the best thing ever. Or dill pickle chips, I thought about bringing them. Those are also fantastic. <laughs> Obviously we like vinegary things. Yeah. Either way, Cool Ranch Doritos, probably the best kind of flavored Doritos out there, period. And blue. Packages match, <laughs> I didn't even try. Did I didn't, it? but it works out so well. I like it. So the blue, I'm going to go with you. That's good, thank you. Yeah, you're going to have to finish all that as we go to a white wine next. <laughs> Making us drink, darn. All right, moving on. Oh god, oh god. 
like the test kitchen. I'm gonna take the one with go. the absolute like it's been yeah it's been totally coated. My season. If this was my daughter, she would like spend a minute or two like licking, licking it. She would lick the chip clean and then she would eat it, which is so annoying to me. Yeah, that's what she gets. That's, I mean, I put that part directly on the mouth, but I haven't had blue in a while, and oh my, it's we so sold good. So much blue on Sunday. So Sunday good. was a good day for us. Yeah, if you guys missed the whoop wagon wine, sad. Well, and Billy was here, Bill Keller. It was, a, it was fun. Oh, very fun. Oh. All right, I'm going in. I just love these chips so much. There's a lot going on on this trip. And it's probably the Midwestern girl in me that puts ranch on everything still. Like I'm five. But I just accept it now because I'm an adult and I can do what I want. I like the sweetness with the zippy of the Cool Ranch. Mm -hmm. The Cool Ranch has got a little in it. It just balances it nicely. Because Blue has a little bit of those like apple flavors to it. That pairs super well. Somebody did comment. I know, I can't see my comments. Oh, it's Sandy Van D. Hello, Sandy. How are you doing? We got to see you not that long ago, but we still miss you. I know, it was nice to see you the other day. Oh, oh, last week, I saw so many of my favorite fans. All, I don't know if they were all you, but I saw so many great people last week. Right. It was so nice that everyone coming out and saying hello. It's a very... This one's a congruent pairing. It makes sense. They match each other. They're not on totally opposite ends of the spectrum. So far, that one's my favorite, actually. Pair, pair. I told you. I came up with these this morning at 9 a.m. <laughs> so she's been drinking for a while. But he said the little cup. <laughs> Loving Brianna in general right now. Yeah. I was never, not never. 
this vintage I was a huge Brianna fan, but it has aged incredibly well. So if you haven't tried this in a while, come back out, give it a shot, it's amazing. I feel like it's gotten a little less floral mm -hmm. and maybe like a little bit more is it apple. What do you taste? I get I hate saying this word, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I get like a grapefruit. A light uh, yeah. maybe a light. Not I like, like a crazy grapefruit. grapefruit, like just a light I little grab a towel. Okay. Oh, that's I didn't prepare for that, did I? So while she's doing that, I will pour the next wine and talk to you about Saturday. So Saturday is going to be kind of our second harvest celebration. We usually call standing in dinner's harvest celebration. But this year we're doing it a little bit, I don't want to say bigger because it's going to be nice and socially distanced and all that good stuff. But we have Kevin Ferris playing from one to four. And if you don't know who Kevin Ferris is, he was on The Voice, he was on Team Nick Jonas, <laughs> and I think he was there for about four cycles. Don't quote me on this, but he's fantastic. He's a, such a good singer, and he is free. So you can come from one to four, enjoy him, some wine, some appetizers, and then a grape stomp. Woo! There's a grape stomp in the afternoon. Is that at five? Uh, no, 4.30. 4 um, we're going to do our first, at, we've done grapes, stomping in grapes in the last few years, but this is an actual competition where there's a prize, it's a team of three, so you can bring yourself and two of your best friends out for a stomping good time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, so that would be fun. And, then, and it's only $10 to enter per team. Yep. And you so win, what do you win? I forget. Each team member gets a bottle of wine of their choice. Yeah. So you, you win. Yeah, exactly. And there's only going to be one winner. There's a fly around the head. And then after that, from 6 to 9, we are going to have Dogs on Skis here as our last music for, for, the, for a sad night music. Yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah, Friday for last Saturday. night yeah. music for right. the summer. Right. And they are going to play from 6 to 9, $5. You can buy them online. If you still have tickets, we will have them at the door. Yep. So definitely enjoy that. It's going to be a beautiful night. This is not the wine I want. <laughs> Who's playing Sunday again? Oh, it's Kathy Ogden. Kathy Ogden from yeah. Two Buck Chuck. She's so good. Her voice is amazing. I said it like I'm on a game show. <laughs> anyway. We have no, our fabulous prices are chips. <laughs> you know, whatever it takes to make it through 2020, <laughs> I'm not mad. All right, so we got the front part. Yes, I needed one red. Like, I was bound and determined to have a red with any kind of chip. I try, again tried Hearthstone with this, I tried Frontenac with Cheetos, none of it worked, and then Crown Fires, that blend of three, seemed to go all right with the Cheetos, not overwhelm it. But going in, going in for the Cheeto. I, I'll have to admit, this is, well, I don't know if I have a favorite chip, to be honest, I like them all. But when I'm tired <laughs> and uh, have snacks for the Here munchies, Cheetos are, are pretty good. Yeah, I like that one. No? Yeah. Cheetos, I think, aren't as in your face with their cheese flavor as Doritos are. Yeah. So it could handle something that isn't overly acidic, has a little bit more tannin, a lot more tannin in it. Well, these are more cheese. I feel like the Dorito has like some garlic in it. It does. It has, like some intense flavors that, besides just the cheese, it's got something. Yeah. I like it. I really wish we would have had the jalapeno Cheetos. Those Ooh. are the best kind of Cheetos. I don't know if I could handle the jalapeno Cheetos. Are not playing that one. Well played. I've never had this. Yeah, you die. <laughs> I've always been spicy. Is not great. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm getting better. That's true. Yeah. Now we just have to get you like goat cheese. Oh, no. Anyway, we're going to keep going <laughs> with this. So, yeah, I am like really loving our red wines right now. I think it's They're because I'm like so, so in, the, I'm in the fall mood. I don't know if you guys are, but then all of a sudden I'm just like, okay, I just want like dry red. So, I have been enjoying at home a 2017 front. Oh, so good. Those 
you that can still find it somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> I'm lucky I have a guy who brings it home on occasionally, so that's kind of nice. It's true. I have two of them, but I'm not drinking them yet. Yeah, they're pretty good. Because I don't want to. I also have a 2017 lacrosse that I should have drank by now. Yeah. But it was the best vintage of lacrosse hands down I've ever had. And you, I'm should, just like, you should just open that one. I should. White wines, guys, don't hold on to those guys for an hour. So don't follow my example on this one. <laughs> just follow my example and just need to drink them. them. Maybe yeah, that's what I'll get tonight. I want a red. Yeah. Anyway, this one was the hardest pairing I had to do the entire day. And so I ended up with, sorry, it's Fritos. Fritos, weirdly, are the hardest thing to pair. Which you think it would be easy because they're kind of. Look, they're neutral. Just, yeah, they're, yeah. Which is why I think I had an issue with it because it didn't really add or take away from a wine. Like it was just there. And if I have a pairing, I want it to make sense and not just be there. So finally, Susan, our wholesale person, was here watching me do this. And she suggested autumn spice. Because Fritos, corn chips. So you get a little bit of that cornbread, folly flavor to it, paired with our autumn spice seasonal. I'm I think it works. Spice oh my god, spice. autumn spice is fantastic this year. I say this every year, but it's so good. It is so good. It's just, I don't know what he did this year or what grapes he used. It's it like the grapes. a little bit of like, almost like caramel butterscotch or something. Mm -hmm. A little bit of that. Oh my god, guys. It's like a, mm. and then it's like a candied apple. Yeah. Look, yeah. It's all fall. It's we just <laughs> like, it's like fall decorations in a cup. And it, yep. <laughs> We're just obsessing over wine right now, which is kind of what you want to see, right? Uh, I'm going in with the burrito. Oh, well, this is a twofer. You got a double. I think the salt and a little bit of sugar in this would be good. I also tried Firefly with a lot of things. I know some of you are probably like, why didn't you use sweeter wines? Or like Glow or Storyteller. Mm -hmm. Sweet wines are hard to pair. If it's not sweet with sweet or sweet with salty, but like not this kind of salty. Like a little spicy? Yeah, or with spicy, which is also why I wanted to. Either way, it's fine. But Firefly just didn't work with any of these. This is really good. Oh. Got one. They're just, Fritos are so, I love Fritos, but they're just, they beg to have a dip on them. <laughs> so the autumn spice kind of adds that flavor that you want there without adding more calories. Well, well, it adds a good calorie. I was going to say, it's going to add some calories. But it doesn't add the fat calories yeah. like you get from the 80 dairy dips that are fantastic, don't get me wrong. But, yeah, this is, this would probably be, I still think, for me, the blue is my favorite. This is probably my second favorite of the day. Hi, Dee. Dee's watching. Yes, Aww. Dee Cole. Is Brian there? Tell Brian that he needs to come on one of these things. <laughs> guys, yes. guys. <laughs> Yes. If you comment below saying Brian, we want you or something on that, Brian's yes. our other wholesale person, other than Susan, and if he refuses to get on here. Does he? Well, we can change that. I know. If we get pizza. Oh, he should be your pizza. Well, right? I want to be there too. Well, we were talking about having like a pizza and wine pairing, but it was going to have to be like a pizza party because everybody wants to be involved with pizzas. <laughs> when pizza's there. You guys all are going to want to be involved. Right? Yeah, D, D, make that happen. We need to see that happen. Somebody just loves something. Hopefully that was Steve being like, I told Brian. Sorry. Make that happen. Phone closed. We went off on a tangent of making Brian get on this thing. Well, Brian's on next week. Deal. Brian, you're on next week. I don't know what we're doing, but we're going to do something. Sorry. Moving on to the chips again. <laughs> We get so distracted on these things, and I'm so happy that you guys still want it, because this is just how we are as people. But the autumn spice adds something to the Fritos. Oh my god. And then, I, I can't tell you guys how great autumn spice is. It's so good, and then you warm it up in the microwave oh, for just like 30 seconds. So those are Popeye football games that are coming up. If you're tailgating at a 
friend's house or wherever you're watching the game, you should have this in the crock pot with some sliced apples, whatever. Oh my god, you'll be there. Get to the party, and then you bring a bag of Fritos. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> we have your tailgate planned. <laughs> you can throw in the AE party dip if you want, but it's not necessary. I mean, it doesn't hurt anything to throw it in. No. Or it might have a It's true. No. So, your favorite. soon as I tried that, I'm just like, this is it. I'm probably going to have a glass of it and finish those. So if we did have the salt and vinegar chip, what would you put it with? That one's hard because they are super like vinegary and they kind of hurt your tongue, which is part of the fun of salt and vinegar chips. But I wouldn't want a super acidic white because I feel like that would... I have always heard to it. that pickles are good with red. Yes. Pickles in our Frontenac. Oh my god. It's yeah. Like you hands down amazing. You would totally not think that was right. But right. So maybe a dry red would go with it might be. salt and vinegar chips. I'm not sure. We'll have to get a bag of salt and vinegar chips. Somebody else commented. Let's see if I can read I'm this. Sorry. I'm terrible at like Had. this part. Oh, it's Debbie. How are you doing, Debbie? I can't read that far, but she said had fun. Along with you guys, I'm so sorry. I can't read that, but Debbie, I'm so glad you guys hung I'm, out with us I'm and sorry, too. I get, like, They're our stuff. wine club members, and we love all of you, but our wine club members are you know, We if have fun parties. If you're party. interested in being a wine club member, yeah. wine club pickup is end of October, and we're getting ready for that. Yeah. I've gotten some delicious recipes. I'm we're super excited. We're doing some recipe exchanges on that one, and mm -hmm. oh my god, some of our wine club members. Professional chefs, I guess. Right? I don't know. I'm excited. Better than us. Not me. Better than me. I don't want to speak for you. No, I'm terrible. <laughs> we just like to drink the wine. Stand. So, well, I hope you guys come out this weekend and say hi to us. No. Um, we are open regular hours Friday and Saturday. Friday and Sunday. And then Saturday, we're just extended a little bit. So, Find all those details on your lovely Facebook site. You guys are still on. And on a bunch, our website, not a bunch of other places. Website. So let us know what chips you like. Let us know that Brian needs to be on this thing. Yeah. Please say, vote for Brian. Yes, vote for Brian. <laughs> or if there's other things you guys want us to talk about or you're dying to know, yeah. let us know what those are. Right now I'm planning for the end of October. I'm going to do Halloween cocktails and candy carrying, which Cassie will definitely be I here for. I will definitely be here for that one. So, those are for the end of October, though, and there are five Thursdays in October, so I need three more things. Let me know what you want us to talk about. We should dress up for that one. The candy one? Yeah. We could do that. We could wear at least our witch's hat. Or we could do that. Something. Something. All right, we're going to dress up now. <laughs> now I'm going to be All right, either way, that's all I got for today. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Then we will see you guys next Thursday, if not this weekend. I'm, just, I'm gonna go She's gonna do the run around thing. We have yet to figure out the remote. <laughs> Bye guys. Happy drinking.